Next off, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelid. I'm going to be using the Black Radiance Eyeshadow Primer. And you don't need a ton of this stuff because it really works well. So I'm just applying like the smallest. You can barely probably see that smallest little amount. And putting it on my lids. So the shadow that I'm going to put on my actual eyelid is the um, shadow from the Body Shop. It's this really nice rustic kind of orange color. It's called Golden Cinnamon. And I love this color because it's just really complimentary, especially on like brown skin. So I'm using this uh, Wet n Wild Shader Brush. And just going to apply that all over the lid. And I'm kind of using like those padding motions. I'm really packing it, that color on because I'm, I am going to be doing a cat eye as you can see. So um, the every time I do a cat eye or a liner, I feel like, you know, the liner kind of takes away from that lid color. Or at least on my lids because my lid space isn't that big. Uh, so I kind of work it a little upward towards the crease just so that I can make sure I have enough uh, shadow. And I have a little bit of a fallout. Okay, so next I'm going to work into the crease and what I'm going to be using for the crease color um, and kind of like a smokier outer V is this e.l.f. shadow. It's a baked shadow and it is in color bark and it's this really like bronzy kind of dark brown color and I'm also going to be mixing it with this color right here which is like a maroon, no more like a plum kind of purple. Um, this is a Sephora palette I got a long time ago, but I'm sure they have, you know, colors like this still. So, um, but it's like a really nice, rich kind of plummy color. I'm going to mix both of those together. I'm going to be using this Sonia Kashuk um, Shader Large Brush, and I'm going to just dip it into the e.l.f. shadow first, and then dip it right on top of that um, plum kind of color. And then just work it right in the outer um, outer V area and into the crease. So maybe I can zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm doing. And so now that I have um, that color really worked into the crease area and, and my outer V area a little bit, then I'm going to go in with my eyeliner and I'm going to be using the Super Skinny Marker, which is from NYX. And Okay, so now that I have my um, eyeliner done, I'm going to work on the bottom half of my eyes. And so I'm going to line my bottom lid with this Nika K eyeliner. It's in color Royal Purple. Okay, so now that that is all lined, I'm going to smudge it out with an eyeshadow and I'm going to be using um, that darker, um, well, more vibrant purple that's right here in the same palette from Sephora. And I'm going to just take this Sonia Kashuk brush that's more like a pencil brush and just pick up a lot of that product and then smudge it right over that eyeliner. Okay, so now that I have that all smudged out and um, kind of intensified, I'm going to go ahead and start with my lashes and working in my mascara. The first coat is going to be from Maybelline, the Mega Plush um, Mascara or Volume Mascara. And I'm just going to 
heavily apply this onto my lashes. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with this uh, Urban Decay Perversions and go back into my lashes and apply it to the top ones. So I just wanted to have the intensity of like a really nice like cat eye and dark lashes and everything. So um, now that that is done, I'm going to go in the inner tear duct and I'm going to pick up this Becca Champagne Pop um, Shimmering Skin Perfector and I'm going to put that in my tear duct. I'm going to be using the um, pencil brush from Urban Glow. Okay, and so it's like pretty bright, so I'm going to go on top of it with a brush that doesn't have anything on it, just a nice little um, eyeshadow brush, and just kind of blend that in. Okay, so now that the eyes are pretty much done, I'm um, just looking at them to make sure that they're like blended. I can go back in with this brush and just really like work in that shadow a little bit. So I'm going to go on and move on to lips. And um, for my lips, I am going to just put a little bit of this Burt's Bees uh, Beeswax Lip. This is the one with vitamin E and peppermint. I love this stuff. It smells really good and it's really moisturizing. Um, and so to line my lips, I'm going to use this Jordana Lip Liner. It's in Baby Berry. And um, I love this color. It's a really nice, like, pinky purple type of a color. Even though the packaging, it looks really mauve but it's not. It doesn't show up, like, mauve -y. It shows up more pink. Okay, so I have my lips lined now. I'm going to go ahead and go on top of that with this ColourPop lipstick. This is in leather and it's just a really nice matte purple color looks like that and so I'm going to just apply that all over the lips Okay, and so I have this really nice intense purple kind of lipstick on. Um, I was thinking about putting on top of it the ColourPop uh, like matte lipstick. And um, I think I will put just a little bit maybe in the center. And this one is in color Zipper. They're pretty much the same color except that is like an actual lipstick whereas this is the liquid lips. I think I'm going to go in with one last step and I'm going to use the Black Radiance blush. This is in the Toasted Almond. I use this color all the time um, after I'm done like contouring and everything. So I'm going to just pick up this e.l.f. flat powder brush and just kind of intensify my contour. Okay, so this is the makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, this like really short tutorial. Um, but yeah, I loved making this look. I feel like it's really nice and vibrant and it's like kind of like a night kind of look, I think I want to say. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm loving the intensity on the eyes and the lips too. So thank you for watching this video and I hope that you subscribe if you have not already subscribed and also like this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up.